Member for Cookertlum Burke Mountain. Water is life. Everyone needs clean water. Water is essential for our food security. Wild salmon need cold, clean, abundant flows. The watersheds in BC face <clears throat> many challenges, <clears throat> excuse me, including a rapidly changing climate, which requires new management to help ensure they remain healthy. Recently, I attended the Healthy Watershed Symposium in Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil territories, where dozens of water leaders gathered to learn, share, and strategize. Anne Hera, New Zealand's Deputy Secretary of Climate Change for the Ministry of Environment, spoke about the Ta'au Maori and how water is managed in New Zealand, a place where rivers enjoy the rights of a person. Norm Allard, Jr. of the Lower Kootenai Band spoke of the importance of restoring wetlands. Tara Marsden spoke of advancing UNDRIP in BC and of rights, title, and reconciliation in watershed work. Roger William, chief of the Honeywatine, spoke of the importance of water to his people, the land, and the animals in his territory. I, along with Laurie Hall's Deputy Minister of Water, Land, and Resource Stewardship, spoke about the future of BC's watersheds. Later that evening, the Real Estate Foundation of BC hosted an incredible celebratory dinner to recognize the work of watershed security leaders across BC. We must support these watershed leaders if we are to turn the tide to resilient watersheds and abundant salmon runs. It's why our government is investing $100 million in healthy watersheds and launched the engagement of a new co-developed watershed security strategy intentions paper to ensure safe, clean, abundant water is available to communities, nations, and wildlife across BC for generations to come. But watersheds are the lifeblood, BC's watersheds are the lifeblood of this province, and we need to work together to ensure that they stay that way. Thank you, Speaker.